guys welcome back to a brand new video it's your boy pooch on the studio and today's video is we're gonna be talking about the autofocus for the canon r7 so if you guys have the canon r7 or you guys have any type of canon camera you guys want to test out the autofocus i'm going to kind of show you guys today of how fast this autofocus is and why how fast the autofocus is why i use it when i use it so let's get right into the video all right so we're going to be using this controller as the object today so we're going to be testing it back and forth so i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put it right here it should focus and then focus back in my face put controller right here it should focus taking a little bit of time to focus it's still focus on me focus on on that is now it's on it's on center focus so we're going to do it one more time focus on the controller Bam, focus on me, focus on the controller. Okay, bam. So we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna do from this angle. Focus on me, focus on controller, focus on me, focus on controller. So it's a it's a it's a bit pretty fast. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a little bit fast in my opinion. Where when do I use it? Do I use it on music video? I don't use it on music video, but I do use it on when I'm blogging outside and you know I'm changing scene very fast. It it always stays on my face because the autofocus is very is very fast. I use the 18 to 35 Sigma Art lens as well too. So that's that's the that's 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 my that's my setup with the canon r7 the canon r7 and the sigma 18 to 35 um lens that's my that's my go-to setup as you guys see in the autofocus is very sharp it's very fast where else do i use it i usually shoot manual mode when i'm when i'm on set but if i do want to lock on the subject before i go to before i put it into manual mode i will switch it to autofocus lock on the spaces i will lock on the person face or whatever i lock on press back the manual focus when I press back the manual focus it's already set to the actual the focus line if it makes sense in a way you have about a couple meter to pull back a couple meter to pull forward before it start losing focus in a sense so you just got to kind of know your camera and know how much you have how much leeway you have to like kind of push back and forth if it makes sense in a way but guys that's just my, my take on the autofocus for the Canon R7 if you guys like this video give it a like give it a comment and also, I will see you guys into the next videos. Peace out.